Area enclosed by a curve and the y-axis. You will find this on page 330 in the Namibia AS level mathematics textbook y equals mx plus c to success. Area enclosed by a curve and the y-axis. If the required area is bounded not by the x-axis but by the y-axis, we must express x as a function of y. That's meaning make x the subject of the formula. Then the integral is denoted by, so then we integrate to y. Thus we say that we integrate along the y-axis, integrating with respect to y, like shown there. So if x equals fy is a function with x bigger than 0, then the area a bounded by the curve uh, y equals fx, the x-axis and the lines y equals a and y equals b is given. So it's exactly the same. The only thing is x, it's in terms of x, it's in terms of the x and you integrate to y. Okay, let's look at one. Find the area of the shaded region. Okay, so first make x the subject of the formula. So it's plus minus y, but x is bigger according to the sketch. Can you see? It's not, otherwise it would have been at the bottom. Of uh, No, no, no. It's on this side of zero, otherwise it would be on this side, zero. Do you see? But it's on this side. So there's two parts, there's the positive and that would have been the negative. Okay, so I'm going to, again the top, the end, so three and one, I'm going to differentiate, integrate, integrate to y, which I did there, okay, and then I'm just going to quickly uh, simplify first this, okay, there I multiply by the reciprocal, so it's 3 over 2, it was 3 over 2, now it's 2 over 3, and then I substitute and I get, this was correct too, 3 significant figures. Okay, I want you to stop the video and I want you to do number one. Yeah, you can continue the video as soon as you are finished. Okay, let's start. Number one. Okay, I prefer always first. Okay, now this is first. This is actually easy because if you look, it's already in terms of one. So x is already the subject of the formula. Now oh, let's just do it there. Okay, so if I want to find the area, I'm going to take that, that 0 and 3 means that's 3 and that's 0 there. So 3 and 0, that 0 is just because it's on the y-axis. So there's the 0. And then I'm going to say 3y minus y squared and I'm going to integrate towards y. So I'm going to get 3y squared over 2 minus y3 3 over 3. Okay, and then I integrate it. And then I substitute, so it's 3 and it's 3 squared over 2 minus 3 to the power of 3 over 3. Minus, okay, and then it's 3, 0 squared over 2, minus 0 to the power 3 over 3, and close. Okay, and if I'm going to simplify this, this is going to be 3 times 3, that's going to be 9 times um, 3, so that's going to be that 27, if I divide by it's 13.5. Uh, this is just going to be 9 because it's 27 divided by 3, so it's 9. And there's the 0. And that will give me an on final answer of 4 and a half units squared. Okay. So if you look at this example, can I just show you here? Okay. I think you can stop again the video and then you do number three and then as soon as you are finished you can continue the video okay let me just do another one where we must make um, 
It's the subject of the formula. Okay, I'm going to give space. And again, determine the shaded area bounded. Now, it seems to me it was not shaded yet, but in the final version, I will make sure it is shaded. Okay. And it's going to be there between 8 and it's going to be 1. Okay. So, if I'm starting, this is number 3. Um, I first run, I always run out my formula first. Now, in this case, because it's towards the y-axis, I must make x the subject of the formula. So, that's going to be, okay. So, if I'm going to make x the subject of the formula there, I'm just then going to say, okay. So, it's going to be x. Can you see? And, okay, to get rid of that, I take the cube root and I take the cube root. So, it's the cube root of y and that is x minus 2. Okay, then the root is away because it's 3 over 3. And then I'm just going to say, okay, I want x, so x, there's the cube root of y plus 2. So therefore, if I really want, I can even write it because I'm getting it ready for integration. So I just swap the sides. So it's y to the power of 3 plus 2. Okay. That will be ready for integration. So if I want to find the area, it's going to be integrating. And what is my points? 8 and 1. And what is my formula? And I integrate to y. Okay, and then I'm just going to say it's y, it's one third plus one. So it's it's going to be one third plus, I like to write it like that, and it's four over three. Can you see that? So y, four over three, and I divide by four over three. And then I just put the constant with, and it's eight and one. And if I take the reciprocal there, I'm just going to do it like that. Um, it's going to be 3. I can take it back. Then it's still the cube root and it's y to the power of 4. But I think let's leave it in fraction. Sometimes it's difficult in some calculators to press uh, other root. If it's square, it's fine. So um, um, let's leave it 3 over 4 y 4 over 3 plus 2 y was not necessary to write this whole step down. Okay, now I substitute. So it's 3 over 4, and in the place I say 8. I'll show you how to press this on the calculator. Minus 3 over 4. Okay, so 8 to the power, and then just add bracket, 4 divide 3, close the bracket equals, that's just 16. Multiply 3, A is 4, that's 12, plus that's 16, minus, that's just 1, so that's 3 over 4, plus, so it's 2 and 3 quarters. I just want to move this on gone. And then, if I simplify this, I'm just going to get that plus 16, it's 28, minus 2, ABC, 3, ABC, 4, equals, and that's 25 and 1 quarter, and that will be unit square, because it's area. Okay, and that's how you do it towards the y-axis.